It helps rural counties and school districts deliver essential services like education, road and bridge maintenance, wildfire prevention, and environmental stewardship. He's talking about a federal program intended to help rural counties in Idaho and around the country. Idaho Senators Mike Crapo and Jim Risch announcing today they're reintroducing the Secure Rural Schools program in Washington, D.C. That program dates back nearly 20 years. The idea then and now is to especially help counties with a high percentage of federal lands that can't be taxed. Timber cutting in rural counties has declined on federal lands and it caused the program that funded it to go away last year. Our Joey Prechtel spoke with the senators today about the reintroduction and how it's intended to help rural counties. Joey? Well, Mark, and D, a big difference this time around is that this legislation would make the program permanent instead of reauthorizing the program for two to four years, which has been what has happened in the past. This would make sure the rural counties get funding each and every single year. Senators from Idaho and Oregon in front of the state capitol on Thursday announcing new legislation that would help rural counties. Because so much of their land is owned by the federal government is they don't have a property tax base. And without that tax base, they fall short on money. The solution to this is reintroducing the Secure Rural Schools program, this time as a permanent funding source. That money will come from the general fund okay. uh, and, and then it will go into the trust fund. The money would go towards schools and county services like roads. And so it's a very, very powerful part of what's needed in our rural communities. It's a problem that Valley County Commissioner Gordon Kruikshank is all too familiar with. We cut services, we cut snow removal, we cut projects, uh, we don't buy new equipment, we hire less employees and it does show. This is a result of timber harvest declining on federal land. Now without that money, he's seen his budget decrease and he says this legislation could help solve that problem. If we get a baseline that we can work from, then every year we know where we're going to be with that baseline of funding so that there is certainty in what we're doing. So here's what would happen. Seven billion dollars would be moved from the general fund into an endowment. This would be a one-time payment. Then the timber receipts would help supplement this trust fund so that it doesn't run out. Now this is a bill in Congress and Senator Crapo didn't have a timeline for when it could be passed. Acknowledging that Congress is moving slow right now, but this is a bipartisan bill and he's confident that it will pass. Guys? Well, that's encouraging at least. And so we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks a lot, Joey.